Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and I'm excited because today we get to test out my new favorite battery. These are from Lion Energy. They are called UT1300 lithium iron phosphate batteries. They have 105 amp hours a piece and we're gonna be putting them into the test today. If you decide that you like these batteries and you wanna pick one up, I called Lion Energy and they're giving my subscribers 15% off with the link down below, which on these batteries saves you like 150 bucks, which makes them cheaper than Battleborns right now at the time of this video, so I think that's awesome. What we're gonna do to figure out if these actually deliver the full amount of power that they promise is we're gonna put a five amp draw on these guys and then set up a camera to take a picture a minute so I can see exactly how long they last. And we're also gonna be using a Victron battery monitor system with the battery shunt, and it will actually tell us exactly how many amp hours of power we get out of these. And what we're gonna be doing to get that five amps of draw is we're gonna be turning on the RV stereo, which has a small LCD uh, screen so kind of like a small tablet or a little TV or whatever. And then we're also gonna have a 12 volt oscillating fan to keep you cool. And then basically I'm just gonna turn on a whole bunch of LED lights until I get to five amps of draw. And I'm gonna check that with a multimeter and also to the Victron readout that's gonna tell us how many amps we're consuming as well. So without further ado, why don't I get out there and show you how I have this set up and then we'll put up the timer and we'll just start the test. Okay, so I've taken out my other batteries and I've installed these Lions, UT1300s in parallel. I love that feature. So now we can start experimenting. Okay guys, I tried to calibrate everything as closely as I possibly can here. If we look down here, we're showing 4.9 amps on this guy. So very, very close to five amps. And then just to double check, I connected a voltage meter here, amp meter and we're showing 5.06 amps. And that guy is running all the power from the RV right now. You can see it's the only thing connecting the battery cables. So we are right there. It's close to five amps as I can possibly get us. So this is where we're gonna run the test with everything just the way it is. And we're gonna start the clock. Okay, so we're gonna start the test here and you can see everything's gonna be counting down. I tried to calibrate everything as closely as I could. You can see the Victron says we're drawing about 4.9 amps, but the voltmeter that I used said we were drawing 5.06. So as close to five amps as I could possibly get that guy. And as this guy runs, you're gonna notice that we get up to, according to my timer here, and even just by looking at the clock at the top of the fire tablet, about 41.3 hours is in 0.3 hours is about 41 hours and 18 minutes. As you can see right here, it's gonna be approaching 41 hours and 18 minutes and then the error code hit. And so that was it, that's when the lights went out. That's how long they lasted. And to double check that, I added up all the pictures from my camera, every single frame that it took one a minute. And it took 2,478 frames. You divide that by 60 minutes and you get 4.3. And that's exactly what we showed there. So 4.3, um, 41.3 hours is amazingly close to the 42 hours these batteries promise they're gonna deliver. Because if you take, each one's a 105 amp, 105 amp hour battery times two, so that's 210, you divide that by five, you're gonna get 42. They're supposed to last 42 hours on paper. They got so close to that, 41.3 hours, and that could very well be because of variances with my testing. The fan drew a little more, or it fluctuated or whatever, and at 5.06, that's a little more than five, et cetera. Close enough. So, and if you look at the actual uh, display on the Victron battery monitor, it counted 109 amp hours. And so, I mean, that's incredibly impressive that they delivered all of that. And to put that into perspective, I had two Green Life batteries and all I ever got out of them was 180 amp hours and each one was supposed to be 100, so that should be 200 amp hours. I only got 180, maybe because they shut down to at 10% to give you more cycles or who knows, but these are smaller than those and they delivered exactly what they said they were gonna deliver as far as amp hours. And with all that stuff on, all those lights, the fan, the stereo, a little TV or whatever, 41 hours, and 18 minutes is incredibly impressive. Uh, these batteries will take 150 amps of discharge. I do a video where I actually run an air conditioner off of these, um, and I'll put that link up top. It lasted about three hours with a 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner, that's huge. Um, and so you can pull a tremendous amount of power out of these guys, and then you can charge them up to 100 amps at a time, which is super duper fast. 
you can charge one of these batteries in like an hour, um, which is incredible compared to lead acid or anything else that's gonna take you six or eight hours to you know bulk absorption and float charge. These, you can just dump power into them and they're gonna go all the way up. Lion Energy offers a warranty for all 3,500 cycles. Um, that's crazy. So if you completely discharge them like I just did and then pump them full of juice all the way to charge, that's one cycle. 3,500 cycles is 9.6 years. If you do that every day, it'll last you 9.6 years. And at that time, it's not even dead. They're just at 80% capacity. So you're still gonna get 80 amp hours out of each battery after 9.6 years. And they guarantee it to 3,500 cycles. So I think that's incredible. I also love the display on the batteries because for van lifers, that's huge. You don't have to have a battery shunt and all this expensive equipment to monitor lithium batteries because their voltage is so high through their entire cycle, you can't use anything else to test it. You need a battery shunt and a nice setup that's gonna you know, monitor amp hours. And you don't need that with the display if you just put this in your van to run all of your gear and gadgets. You just hit the button and you can tell if it's at 100%, 80%. You know 60 40 and dead so on so i really like the little light display that's really handy and again if you're interested in one of these 15 percent off that's 150 bucks off this particular battery and i will put that link down below that takes you straight over there or if you call in you can use the code word adventure save yourself a bunch of cash and that really helps me out too so they passed with flying colors i hope you enjoyed the video my name is jim with full moon adventure club and until the next video thank you so much for watching and happy camping